Friends, buddies, pals, how are you doing? Welcome back to another video. This is gonna be a good one. Well, I hope this is gonna be a good one. I'm excited. Never fished this river before. Kind of goes without saying, because I'm in the South Island in a new area, so, you know, it's all new and it's all good. Don't know much about this river, other than the fact that it's pretty tough. There's not a great deal of fish in here, but the chance of something big is always there. And that, that's the kind of river I like. I'm not fussed about catching lots of fish, but if there's a chance of a big fish, oh, I'm all about it. I got up super early. I drove a super long way. I've just walked probably just over an hour to get to where I'm gonna start fishing for the day. And the sun's just coming up. You can see behind me, the clouds just pushing away. We've got blue sky coming in. The forecast is good. I don't think there's supposed to be too much wind, so could be a cracker. I'm pretty excited. Right, I'm gonna get ready, jump in the river, look for a fish. A brown fish. Oh, sweet. So I put the Helios 3 6 weight with me. 6 weight F, yet to be named. Um, and I'm going to start with that just because of the whole potential for big fish and maybe wind. It'd be good to have a little bit more grunt if I need it. Plus, I want to. I guess we need to name this rod too, eh? We've got Frank and Beans. We've got the the five weight rod with no name prototype thingy, limited edition job, that uh, black one, the nine, the nine foot five one. So we need to name that too, and then we need to name this one. So, send your ideas in guys. Let's name these rods. Okay, so we've got the uh, six weight Helios 3F, and then on here we've got the Mirage, <coughs> the Mirage LT in that cool green. And then there's a Scientific Angler's Infinity Smooth on here, six weight. And then, this is a good opportunity to show you how I uh, set up my rig. Because I know a lot of you are uh, interested in the whole poly leader side of things that I've been using for a while now. So this is just um, a seven foot floating poly leader. This is one of the Orvis ones. I think Rio maybe do one as well. I'm not too sure. This is the only one I've ever used, so don't really know much about the other ones. This works fine. It's been it's been great. So this is seven foot floating, and you've got a basically a welded loop on one end, seven foot down to some exposed core, and then off of that I just don't know if you can see that, but I've just attached a tippet ring. So it's it's super simple. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna loop to loop the poly leader to the end of my fly line. It's, uh, you know, about as simple and as basic as it gets. Go through there, pull that guy through there. There you go, loop to loop, done. Okay, so that forms the first kind of like at least half of my leader. Okay, so let's build this from scratch. So I've got some uh, 3X here I'm gonna bang on. So this is the uh, Scientific Angler's Absolute Supreme Tippet. It's a bit pricey, yes, but damn, it's good. It's so good. It's pretty much all I use now. It's worth it. It's that real thin diameter and uh, super strong. I've been using that 5X a fair bit too recently, which I've never really done before. Cool, right then, so we're gonna go, I think it's going to be long leader territory. So if we go, that's five, that's probably seven feet there of 3x. Then we'll go to 4x and we'll do a blood knot to the end of that. And then we'll add a few feet, maybe four feet of 4x and see what happens. Pretty uh, pretty chilly start this morning. So I was wondering if that's maybe why there's no sand flies around at the moment. I'm expecting sand flies. Okay, blood knot, tag ends in my hip pack. And then let's add, yeah, a good arm's length of 4x to that. And then, I think, I'll just go subtle to start with. Size 16, tricky situation on. Or maybe a 14. Hold a nymph up a bit better. I'll drop to 16 if I need to. All right, double Davy knot, as usual. Maybe the best knot ever, whoever Davy is. Good on you, mate. All right, that's that. We're gonna take this barb down. I guess we'll just uh, leave that for now. Till I find me a fish. So that's it, pretty simple, pretty simple. Floating poly leader, loop to loop that to the fly line, tip it ring, build your leader off of that, however long you want the whole thing to be, and put a fly on it. Too easy. Right, let's go find a fish. The shape on the other side, I don't think, uh, I'm not convinced it's a fish, but it's fishy looking enough that I'm going to uh, 
put a fly past it. Uh, could be a rock. My guess is that it's a rock. Looks pretty good. Ooh, he had a good look. It's definitely a fish. He looked at that, didn't eat it. Why didn't you want to eat that? It's a pretty good looking fly. <laughs> Too big maybe. He might be on edge now, because like he didn't go back to where he was and he's slowly moving up in front of me. So we'll try this. Oh, there he goes. He gone. He gone now. All right. Tricky, tricky, tricky. That's definitely a fish. Looks like a good fish. That was a bit short. So I've re-rigged with 5X. You see this? Just ignored it. What do these fish eat? I feel like he looked at that. Gone to a, a heavy nymph and a tiny little something off the back of that and I'm just going to fish it without an indicator and see if I can watch that fish. Oh, see that guy wanted it. He just chased it, but I couldn't see him. Damn it. Got him. Not the guy I was looking for, but I'll take him for now, just to get on the board. Cool, 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 cool. I just don't think I was getting down. Well, you splash in your, oh. <sighs> Hook popped. Damn it. All right, all right. Well, they're catchable. Well, it was good and bad. It was bad that I lost a fish, but it's good that I hooked a fish and it shows a catchable. So I think the problem there with the previous uh, drifts and presentations was I don't think I was getting down enough. Because, uh, yeah, as soon as I added weight and put those heavier flies on, fish were chasing and, and eating my flies. So, I mean, give me some confidence. Anyway, really getting warm. I think it feels a little bit like a summery day. It's beautiful water, it's clear, it's, oh, it's stunning. It's just beautiful, look at this. Pretty sweet, eh? Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, that's a good fish. Hello. Yeah, solid fish. I actually thought I'd spooked him, but it was a different fish. Another fish came in from behind and then obviously decided this guy wasn't worth fighting. And he disappeared and that's the one I thought I'd spooked. Man, there's fish everywhere. This guy's just just sitting in that deep water and I can't do much with him at the moment. Just trying to keep as much line out of the water as possible. Right on the other side, which I don't like, I never like it on the other side of the river. It's just too much line out, you know. Bro, you are a strong fish. Yeah, we've got the line under his belly, so it's hard to turn. Better. That's a tank. Bro, come this way. There we go. Here we go. At last. Now I might be in with a bit more of a chance. I'm gonna try and swing him into this shallow stuff. I think. Oh yes! Oh my god, that's a good fish! <laughs> Jeez.
Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> How good was that? So that could potentially be the only fish of the day, but then with a fish like that, who cares? I don't know. Very close to 10. Doesn't really matter to me anyway, because that was just a stunning fish. That's that's awesome. That's what's in here. And as I saw while we were fighting up and down the pool, I probably saw like another three or four fish. Uh, all good fish too, just kind of getting pushed out of the way and getting upset, but that was cool. That was cool. Job done. Got him! Yes! Oh, sweet! I was kind of thinking that I wasn't heavy enough, but I was. Hey, 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 hey. A smaller model than the last one, but just as amazing. Beautiful, all condition, strong, beautiful spot, colorings. Sweet! Oh, yeah. That was awesome. I actually, I was, just as I was doing that drift, I was like, ah, I don't think I'm uh, heavy enough or deep enough. And then uh, the drive fly went boop, and it was all on. Really cool fish, just a little tank, little tank. Just a, a miniature version of that first fish. Still got plenty of day, still got plenty of sun. Wind's not too bad. Surely we can get one more. That was awesome, what a cool fish. He's got a cool jaw and the big shoulders. Uh, that was awesome. Um, he actually took the peacock pointer, so uh, yeah, just had to get it right down deep. Anyway, it's all good, all good in the hood. Okay, there's fish. Fish over there on the other side. Crossed over and I found that fish I could see from the other side. And when I got here, he ate something off the top, which is pretty cool. So I just chucked a tricky situation on, and I'm just going to offer that to him to start with, because he's obviously looking up, and if I could get one on a dry, that'd be pretty special. Pretty good. Yes! Oh, no! Oh! Come on! Oh, oh, that stings. That was such a cool eat. 
It was so cool. And there he goes, bye. Yes, he ate the dry. No way. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, he knew where he was going. Ooh. <laughs> another chunky fish. I'm running out of water here mate. Dude, come on now. Yeah. Oh, it's a good fish. Super cool. Man, what a crazy cool day this has turned out to be. You get this pretty good example of like I was on the other high bank when I saw that fish and my initial reaction or my initial response was to be lazy and try and fish to him from that side rather than come back downstream, cross over, walk back up this side, find him again and then fish to him from this side. So sometimes you can get away with it but these fish seem pretty spooky and pretty educated so you know it's worth doing it properly. Don't be lazy, do what you're supposed to do and give yourself the best chance of getting that eat because it could be the last eat of the day, you never know. Still got a little bit more water to go and uh, still seeing fish, so sweet. Swing him down there into that shallow stuff. There we go. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, well, that's a great fish. Incredible fish. Oh, amazing. Just quality. It's just it was just heavy, heavy, heavy. On the on the hook up uh, as, as he powered away, he got caught around the tail um, on that second fly. I mean, it's just a, it's just it's just one of those disadvantages about using two flies. I mean it does happen, but uh, it worked out well. Got him into the shallows, got the net around him, all good, all good in the hood. Uh, right. Wicked, let's move. Let's groove. I've just suddenly stopped seeing fish, so I'm wondering whether or not I'm now fishing up behind somebody else. I know there's another access further up from where I got in, so I may be up into that now. I think that might be, I think it might be me for the day. I've got like probably two hours back to the car and then another two hours back to where I'm staying, so 
yeah, even if I leave now, it's gonna be 7, 7.30. It's gonna be a late night, it's gonna be a big day, but totally worth it. What a cool day, what an amazing river. This is gonna go into my top five favorite rivers, I think. It's mind blowing, just how many fish are in here. Not easy to catch though. Educated, clever fish, and uh, I like that challenge, it's good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed this one. It was a really cool day, really, really special place. Give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment in the comment section below. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed, hit the button, join the team, help me grow the channel. That would be awesome, thank you. Until next week everybody, have a great week. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.